Hey guys, how you doing? This is part three to research studies and focus groups. So number one question, I won't say this is the number one question, but I know a lot of people are curious. Are research studies and focus groups global? Yes. I've seen companies ask for people living in France, living in Argentina, living in Turkey, living in Czechoslovakia. I hope I'm saying it right. If I said it wrong, please forgive me. Uh, different countries. Yes, it's not just the United States. They ask for people in Canada and Mexico. They ask for people all over the world. They want people's opinions all over the world. Okay, so don't think this is just limited to people in the United States. No, it's not. This is a global thing. Okay, another question. How often do they pick you? Now, let me tell you, this is a very important question. Um, say, for instance, if you are signed up for, with, with one research study company um, and you fill out a survey in January and they pick you in January, honestly, even if they give you a survey in February, they're more likely not going to pick you. They'll give you five surveys in March. You'll fill out all five. They're, they're not likely to pick you. They space it out how often a person can participate in a research study. So if you fill out a survey in January, you get picked for that survey in January and you participate in January, expect to participate with that same company in June. Three to six months is the next time you're likely to get picked. So if that's the case, how did I make $4,000? That's because I'm signed up with like 25 research companies. Yes, I am. 25. The 25th company, I do a research study in January. Guess what? The 24th company, I'm filling out a survey in February. I get picked. Then that 23rd company, I'm filling out a survey in March. I get picked. Then that 22nd, you get what I'm trying to say. So I'm not just signed up for one company. I'm signed up with 25 companies. And yes, they all pick me. Okay. Um, and I give my opinions and I participate and I get paid. Okay. So as far as how often one company pick you, they space it out. But you don't limit yourself to one. That's why I said if you comment, I can give you the spreadsheet of the best companies. Okay. More likely to pick you. Okay, so how much effort do you have to put into it? So I will tell you, you have to fill out a survey. A survey is a screener to see if you qualify. A screener honestly takes no more than five minutes. So if you fill out a survey for five minutes, that's just five minutes of your day. Now me, I will get 20 emails in a day. And in those 20 emails, if it's like five minutes, that's about close to two hours. And I say up to five minutes. Some e some surveys are like two minutes, three minutes to fill out. Okay, but let's, let's just say the maximum it takes for one survey to fill out is five minutes. Two hours is in one day. I sleep for eight hours. I work for eight hours. That's a good amount of time. If it's 24 hours in a day, I can put aside an hour or two to fill out a survey, especially if I'm going to get $400, $200, $300, you you could put you could put an hour aside, right? So, as far as the effort that you have to put in, that's solely up to you. I will tell you I am a teacher. I work from September to June. I do not take a lot of surveys from September to June because I I am busy. I come home and then I have to tend to the children, tend to the home. But May, June, July, August, which was in part one. I said literally from middle of May all the way to the end of August, I made $4,000 because I have a lot more free time. You know, I, I, I have a lot more availability to be able to take a survey. So as far as how much time I put into it is if it's take five minutes to fill out a survey, I fill out 20 surveys a day. Yes, I did go crazy like that. I filled out 20 surveys a day. Um, then when I get picked, honestly, I'm, sp it depends on a, a, on a company, on the research study, but it'll take about an hour just to talk about whatever it is that they want you to talk about. Some of it is on zoom. Some of it, you have to go in person. Some of it, they just mail you stuff and you fill out a survey. You don't even have to talk to anybody. You just answer another survey, which will take much longer, obviously, but that's all I get paid to do that. You can get paid to do that too. So as far as the effort, that's totally up to you on how much time. You cannot make a living off of research studies and focus groups. This is literally just extra income coming in. 
It paid for my trip. It paid for my bills. When I was in college, it paid for my books. So I hope that answers a lot of your questions as far as, is it global? Yes, the whole world, like I said, they pick anybody. It doesn't matter the location. They seldomly pick you, but if you're in multiple companies, you're more likely to get picked more often than just being a part of one company. And as far as the effort, just to fill it out, it's a little bit amount of time. As far as how long it takes to be in the actual focus group, it depends. I've been in a focus group that was eight hours long. That was a mock trial. That was pretty fun too. I've been in focus groups that was 30 minutes long and I got $75 for that. So it just depends, but I hope this answers your question. I don't wanna make this video too long. Stay tuned for part four.